Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Hope you are all keeping well out there. Some more updates for you. This morning, well at long last, there is some news, and some more information on that. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are back in Canada spending quality time with their son as they are self-isolated due to the coronavirus scare. After their awkward encounter with Prince William and Kate Middleton during the Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are back in Canada. Harry and Meghan had left their son in the care of the latter's best friend, Jessica Mulroney, as they embarked on their final round of royal engagements in the UK. Now, the family is finally reunited, as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are making the most out of their self isolation time due to the coronavirus scare. In a recent report by us, Harry is happy to spend his time with Archie and wants a particular trait to be inculcated in his son at the soonest. Harry wants to teach Archie the importance of treating people equally regardless of race and background. That is something Harry will drum into him as soon as he's old enough to understand. They want to make the world a better place. Moreover, Archie loves being outside in nature, just like Harry and Meghan. Before the self-isolation route, Meghan made sure to take her son on a walk every single day through the woods, which usually lasted around an hour or two. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan took to their Instagram page to share a statement on the coronavirus scare and how they plan to do their part on the same. There are so many around the world who need support right now, who are working tirelessly to respond to this crisis behind the scenes, on the front line, or at home. Our willingness as a people to step up in the face of what we are all experiencing with COVID-19 is ah, inspiring. This moment is as true a testament there is to the human spirit the Duke and Duchess of Sussex wrote. And so on to other news and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle being stripped of their HRH titles is a bigger deal than we thought. Who knew three letters could mean so much? Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, shocked the world by announcing that they were essentially quitting the royal family. No one understood their half-in, half-out resignation not even they could predict the outcome. But the couple did hope to continue supporting Her Majesty, the Queen. Alas, it was not to be. After a series of secret meetings, Harry and Meghan were forced to drop the H or H, His or Her Royal Highness, from their titles. This small distinction might not seem like much, but for members of the royal family, those three little letters are everything. Only certain royal family members are bestowed with the coveted HRH distinction. These days, only certain members of the royal family are granted HRH as part of their title. It all goes back to King George V in 1917, who restricted how many offspring would be able to use HRH. Before his edict, the styling was used much more liberally. Queen Elizabeth loosened the rules on who in the family could use HRH too. But she still took the letters very seriously, which is why she ultimately decided to revoke Harry and Meghan's usage. And it wasn't her first time either. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle lost their HRH styling. Harry and Meghan made it clear that they weren't interested in a full-scale divorce from the royal family. Instead, they wanted to participate in their former roles in a more limited way, thus shielding them from the worst aspects of the working royal life. We intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent, while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen, they shared in an Instagram post. It is with your encouragement, particularly over the last few years, that we feel prepared to make this adjustment. We now plan to balance our time between the United Kingdom and North America, continuing to honor our duty to the Queen, 
the Commonwealth, and our patronages. However, the battle over the word royal began with those words. Harry and Meghan assumed they'd be able to keep their titles and royal distinction. Queen Elizabeth disagreed. The Queen took HRH away from Princess Diana too. The HRH styling is given out at the Queen's discretion, and so far, she's been generous. Prince Andrew's daughters, Princess Eugenie, and Princess Beatrice both have it. The Queen offered it to Princess Anne's two children, Peter and Zara Tyndall, but she declined on their behalf. She also gave HRH as a gift to Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge on her wedding day, and later to Meghan after she married Harry. All three of Prince William's children had the HRH, but Harry and Meghan turned it down for their son, Archie Harrison. The Queen is not above taking the HRH away following a divorce. Most famously, Her Majesty revoked Princess Diana's HRH styling while allowing her to keep the courtesy title Princess of Wales. She did the same for Prince Andrew's ex-wife, Sarah Ferguson, who remained the Duchess of York. Prince Harry is disappointed with his loss of status. It seems that the Duke of Sussex didn't expect to separate so completely from the royal family, even if he's the one who initiated the split. Our hope was to continue serving the Queen, the Commonwealth, and my military associations, but without public funding, he said during a speech. Unfortunately, that wasn't possible, but there's a chance it will turn around in the future. Both Queen Elizabeth and Prince Harry have plans to reevaluate the arrangement in one year. At that time, Harry could choose to rejoin the royal family as a senior member, and the Queen could then bestow the HRH styling again at her discretion. It'll be fascinating to see how this all plays out, and whether Harry and Meghan ever get back their HRH, or if they care about it all after this year. Another report. Inside the Burkle Cottage, where Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles are self-isolating. Prince Charles' name has ended up in headlines along with a number of other famous faces who have tested positive for the coronavirus, COVID-19. The pandemic, which has affected so many around the globe, has now reached the British monarchy, and the future king has gone into self-isolation. The Prince's official London residence, Clarence House, confirmed the news on March 25th in a statement which read, The Prince of Wales has tested positive for coronavirus. He has been displaying mild symptoms, but otherwise remains in good health. It is not possible to ascertain from whom the Prince caught the virus owing to the high number of engagements he carried out in his public role during recent weeks. Charles' wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, did not test positive, but is currently in isolation at Burkhall with her husband. Here is more on Charles' health and when he last came in close contact with other members of the royal family, plus a look at the home where he and his bride will be staying until the prince recovers. Where is Burkhall located? Burkhall is the summer vacation home of the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall. It is located on the Balmoral Estate in Aberdeenshire, Scotland. The 18th century residence is set on the massive 53,000-acre estate on the River Merwick. Charles inherited the cottage upon the Queen Mother's death in 2002. Prince Charles has described the garden at Burkhall as such a special place, particularly because it was made by my grandmother. It is a childhood garden, and all I've done really is enhance it a bit. In 2018, royal fans got a rare glimpse inside the home during the documentary Prince, Son and Heir, Charles at 70. The Duke was interviewed in the reception room where viewers noticed a wooden coffee table with colorful wildflowers in a vase. There was also a butterfly palm plant standing in a blue and white ceramic planter next to the window, which had floor-length dark curtains hanging over it. The prince has another Scottish residence 
as he inherited the Queen Mother's Castle of May. In 2019, Charles converted the 10-bedroom Granary Lodge on the castle's grounds into a bed and breakfast. Burkhull is not a huge house, but can they isolate separately? Burkhull holds fond memories for the pair, known as Duke and Duchess of Rothesay in Scotland, because it is where they honeymooned after their 2005 wedding. Now, it will serve as a place where the two will need to keep their distance for a couple of weeks. Charles and Camilla are following governmental advice and are isolating separately. While the house isn't that large, it is big enough to isolate yourself within it. Charles has not been around the Queen who is now in quarantine. With the news that Charles has contracted the coronavirus, many are wondering when the last time he came in contact with other royals. The Duke had a meeting with Prince Albert of Monaco, who also tested positive, two weeks ago, and the last time Charles saw his mother was on March 12th. The Queen last saw the Prince of Wales briefly on the morning of March 12th, and is following all the appropriate advice with regard to her welfare, a Buckingham Palace spokesperson said. Queen Elizabeth II is currently in quarantine with her husband, Prince Philip at Windsor Castle in Berkshire, England, and has spoken to her son following his diagnosis. Charles has also notified Prince William and Prince Harry. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like. That would be fantastic. And press that notification bell if you would like to be notified in the future when I upload videos. Don't stop.